Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to present you how you can play the tic-tac-toe game on the Algorand blockchain. Uh, all of the code for the application uh, you can find on my GitHub repository, which will be added to the description of this video. So let uh, me first just give you a quick overview of the application. So we have both players, which are two Algorand addresses, that's a mid funds to an escrow account. And this escrow account will uh, hold the funds until the game is played. Uh, and then after they have submitted their funds, they can start interacting with uh, another uh, smart contract, which, have, uh, which uh, has implemented the logic for the tic-tac-toe game. And uh, the players just start uh, uh, executing actions as an application calls to this smart contract. And this smart contract uh, uh, defines whether those actions are valid and updates the game's state uh, respectfully. Uh, once the, the game has ended, the winner, uh, the player who has won the game is able to withdraw the funds from the escrow account. Or if the game ends with a tie, then both of the, uh, the players will able to withdraw the initial money that they funded to the escrow account. So the overall idea is that we have two, state, uh, two smart contracts. One is stateful, that holds the tic-tac-toe game logic, and the other one is stateless, which uh, holds, the fund, holds the funds and afterwards approves, approves the refund money transaction. So let's see how we can play this game. I created a simple UI for this application. At the beginning, uh, Whenever I, ref I refresh this page, uh, three accounts are created. So this is the creator account, the player X account, and the player O account. Uh, in order to start, we first need to fund those accounts. We can do that uh, via the Algorand Dispenser site. So uh, what this will uh, send 10 algos on the testnet for those accounts. Okay, first I found the app creator. Now I'm gonna fund the other two accounts. Uh, once the accounts have been funded, we can start playing the game. Uh, first, we, the first step is we need to deploy the stateful smart contract, which is the application. And when I execute this, we will uh, on a transaction will be run. Transaction will be run on the Algorand testnet, and we will see that the application has been deployed with the following ID. At the bottom of the UI, we can uh, check all the transactions that we have submitted in this uh, in this run. So if I uh, check this uh, application ID on the Algorand Explorer, we should be able to see the deployed application. So here is all the TL code that will be executed whenever we call this uh, contract and we can see the initial state of the game. Uh, and all of the, the the logic in the contract and the the, sta the state of the game is uh, explained in more details in the solution uh, markdown file on the GitHub page. You can read it through before uh, watching this video. After we have deployed the application, the first uh, we need to 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 transfer the funds to the escrow account uh, for both of the players and this will mark the start of the game. Uh, now we have uh, submitted and this transaction is an atomic uh, group, uh, atomic trans, uh, transfer transaction it, which contains uh, three uh, different transactions. We can explore this and if I see here both of the players have submitted one algo to the escrow account and the first uh, uh, Account, uh, transaction is an uh, application to the stateful contract and if I go here we can see now that the uh, sorry if I go to the application uh, to the application we can we have we can see that the game has started we can see that the global state has changed uh, and that we have a escrow account which should have two algos now which are both submitted for the uh, pair those are the algos submitted by the players and we have the addresses for player O and player X and we have which uh, which player has uh, needs to place a mark on the game 
and we have uh, the timeout for the game how long this game will be active we can now we can start uh, playing the game first we can see that the uh, player x needs to play an action the actions are numerated from 0 to 8 8 so this is 0 1, one 2 3 4 etc till 8 so first player x plays an action Uh, we have see we can see the binary state uh, of the player X and player O, and we can also see bo at the bottom the transaction. Now let's continue playing. Player O we put uh, here a mark. So it uh, this taking around four five seconds to execute because each uh, transaction on the algorithm testnet uh, gets approved around four to five seconds. Uh, then we'll place uh, for player X uh, a mark in the middle. Uh, now we can experiment if we try to put a, a mark in the middle as well for player O, this transaction should be rejected because the stateful smart contracts should, should say that there is already marked there and you cannot uh, and it should not should not accept this transaction so let's just try for experiment we can see that the transaction is rejected try to put o at position 4 which is already populated so we need to put o in another position so we put it here So the states are uh, explained in the solution, uh, why they are, uh, each, so each state is represented with a, a bit mask. So if we go now to the application, we can expect that the player X state should have, uh, should have uh, the number 17 and for player O state should be number 36. If we go to the application, global state, we can see the corresponding that player X state is a 17 in the stateful smart contract and the player O is 36. Uh, now let's bin for player X by uh, placing an X mark here. And with this, the game has finished, so uh, we cannot uh, execute any more action, actions in the stateful smart contract. Uh, the other thing that the only thing that is left for us for is for player X to withdraw the funds. So we can check the status of the game. And here we are querying the Algorand uh, uh, testnet to see what is the status of the game. Actually, we go directly to to the global state of this application and we check the uh, the game state parameter. If I refresh this page now. The game state parameter is uh, changed from 0 to 1, which means that the player uh, X has won the game. If the game state is 2, it means that player O has won the game. And in case of a tie, this uh, number should be 3. And now we see that the player X uh, has won the game. Uh, once the player X has won the game, he's able to withdraw the funds from the escrow address. And so basically you can see the first we add some uh, algos to the escrow address in order to, uh, for it to be able to uh, pay the fees for the transaction. And in the end, in this transaction, all the funds from the escrow address are transferred for, to the player X address. If we go and, and explore this transaction, uh, we can see that uh, the two algos are transferred from the escrow address to the player X address. And so basically this was this is how you can play one tic tac toe game on the Algorand uh, testnet. Thank you very much for watching and hope you I hope that you enjoyed this video.